It is Thursday, January 4th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday crossword, which means today we will likely have some sort of ambitious or intricate or interesting theme. And this interesting or ambitious or intricate edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Aaron Spiller, Lake House Bros, Adam and Annette Noble, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them. They are benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they bring us this series, they sustain this channel, And for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the channel at any level, of course. That means a lot to me. So thanks if that includes you. And if you'd like it to, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find the bonus solves available to patrons, as well as for benefactors, the Let's Check the Crosses official mug. Uh, Thanks again to all of the patrons. And There's also the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which you can join via a description field link. It's a nice, friendly chat community over there, so check it out. And finally, thanks for interacting with the channel in any of the small available ways. Those are all helpful uh, contributions as well. Subscribing to the channel, leaving comments, liking the videos, those things all help. All right, so let's get on to the crossword. This is a construction by Chase Dittrich, who's constructed, I think, around 10 crosswords, and Christina Iverson, who's responsible for a couple of dozen. So uh, welcome back to them and their collaboration. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. It is a Thursday crossword, so there should be some sort of uh, interesting theme. Let's find out what it is and let's start solving. Gag. So gag could be to gag somebody, or it could be a gag as in a sort of joke or a hoax or something. Or I guess it could be a, I don't know, thing you gag somebody with maybe, not sure. Run and blank, Western NCAA team. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. Uh, No clue. They're connected to the spine. Discs or nerves or um, pages maybe of a book. Maybe I like that more. Let's see. Split bit say. Oh, a P maybe. I I was thinking P because of pages is connected to the spine of a book. And this makes me think that may well be correct because you could have split pea soup. So one little bit would be an individual split pea. Uh, Let's try this. Moving target in a heist film, an armored car. Yes, there we go. Okay, this feels like a puzzle where I'm I'm sort of on the wavelength with the constructors for some reason. Although I'm having said that, I'm only three answers in. You never know. Simply sharp brand. Simply sharp brand. Is that going to be... Sharp as in a razor or sharp like a television, like an image on television? Which do I think it is? Or something else, I suppose. I don't know. Writer uh, Young, Erica. There we go. Uh, Is that fear of flying, maybe? Thinking of the right person. Uh, Simply sharp. It's not Gillette, is it? I'm wondering if if there could be a rebus. I think Gillette is the best a man can get, so probably not. What about this one? Childish retort. Am not, or am, I am too, I guess you could say as well. Am not feels a little bit better. Actually, either one has an O here. This would have a T or an O. T looks a little bit more likely. Squelt. Yes, if you squelt something, you sat on it. There we go. Either literally or figuratively, I suppose. Uh, so am not is the childish retort. These childish retorts are sometimes clued as things like playground responses or playground replies. Um, could be any number of things from am so, am not, are to, are not, you know, all of these different uh, kind of positive or negative and different verb conjugations. Uh, so it's sort of just, it just depends. You just have to get it through context. Oh, is it Jinsu? Is that a... The brand of knives that was often sold on television, probably still is, I don't know. Um, Is it Jinsu? I think it's spelled like this. They must have the slogan, Simply Sharp. I didn't know that, but let's look at the crosses. Uh, Yes, the Oslo Accords, 1993 and 1995 uh, pact. So there we go, Uh, political clue. All right, so then what, so this corner I think is, is working out fine. Reason for a recall, yes, E. coli, so... You could have, you know, produce or something, or food with E. coli infected. 
Oh, right. Okay. What I don't know what this is, but it's something thematic. Moose antlers. And we've underlined M, A, and R, which spell the word mar, which could mean to ruin. If you sort of mar one's reputation, you ruin it. Uh, or you mar, you know, mar the surface of a vehicle or something. Okay. What does this mean? I have absolutely no idea what this means. Uh, very confused. Let's see. What about this? Something broken after regulations, say. A tie. Right. Okay. So this is referring to regulation tie, re regulation time. Sorry. So you go into overtime in a game um, because there's a because there's a tie, and so you exceed regulation time, and then the tie is broken in theory. Okay. Fire blank. Fire ant. There we go. The animal. Christian of note. Christian Dior. I'm just trying to think of a famous person named Christian who would fit in here. I assume it doesn't mean Christian as in a practicing Christian. That would be so vague. I mean, I don't know how you would, you know, it's just, it's just too vague. So I think it means a name. Some, someone named this with an I there. I suspect it's Dior, but there could be another one. Oh, something and ruin. Rack and ruin? Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. I see how this works. So moose antlers, I think the antlers of an animal are referred to as its rack. Um, so that's the moose antlers are the rack bit. And then ruin is the mar bit. So I, I lucked out with this a little bit by having a complete word filled in through crosses before I actually read the clue. So I already had the sort of I don't know, less obvious bit or the sort of less direct bit in here. So that helped. And rack and ruin is a is a general idiomatic English phrase. You could say, oh, this you know, it's going to rack and ruin. It's it's falling apart. It's a complete disaster. Okay, so there we go. So that's how this works. Uh, presumably the rest of the theme answers will be and, you know, there'll be two concepts connected by an and. Philadelphia train system. I think this is the SEPTA. Am I thinking of the, is it SEPTA? I think it is. The Philadelphia Rapid Transit, uh, you know, public transport system, I think is, I think it's called SEPTA. I was in Philadelphia for, for a wedding a year or two ago. And I, and I remember, remember seeing the SEPTA trains. I think that's right. Novel format, ebook, that could be one of the few, one of the few E words I consider acceptable because people do they do actually say ebooks to distinguish them from hard copy books, which is one of the few forms of kind of physical, physically sold media that still maintains currency. Okay, run in blank. Oh, right, I just have no idea what this is. Beverage brand with a lizard logo. Right, this was really big in the, I don't know, I want to say 1990s, Sobe, the kind of, what are they, flavored teas, I think? Okay, currency exchange initials. Not sure. Something to talk about. A topic is something you talk about. There we go, straightforwardly. And a smidgen is an iota, just a tiny little bit of something. Carol Brady, right. Okay, so Carol Brady, and then our other word is cola. Okay, so, oh, mom and pop, right. Okay, so Carol, Carol Brady. Carol Brady must have been the mother in the Brady Bunch, the show with, you know, featuring the large Brady family. Okay, that must that must be the case. So Carol Brady is the mom and Cola, as underlined within her name, is pop soda, soda pop cola, as in Coca-Cola. All right, there we go. Currency exchange initial. Oh, is it just USD for US dollars? Right, okay, fair enough. I mean, you'd see that, you'd see that in a currency pairing, something like GBP USD to indicate the currency pair of the British pound sterling and the US dollar. So I guess that's what that's getting at. And then the the running Utes are a Western NC, NCAA team. Okay, so I guess that's the name of a Utah school, maybe maybe Utah University. I don't know, uh, but there we go. That's a team name, I guess. So here we have a predicament, maybe and three letters ending with an M, a jam, a predicament, a jam, and here we have blank warrior environmentalist. So maybe an eco warrior. There we go, eco for environment environmental concerns, of course. So gag, 
Okay, so it is a joke in this case, a jest, I would think. And then theme park transport could be a tram. You could be taken to different parts of a theme park resort via tram. Tech giant based in New Taipei City uh, must be Acer. So they make laptops and I'm sure other, other computers. Okay, next to last, semi semifinal? Seems plausible. The way I see it to texters. So the way I see it, IMO, in my opinion, you could say in a text. And sushi restaurant supply, nori, the seaweed. Um, I think that is probably correct. And then, are you sure about that? You might ask someone. Is it? Uh, not sure. Might end with it. Whole grain, whole grain wheat flour. Is it atta? Is that it's sort of ringing some kind of bell? I'm not sure if it's accurately ringing it. They might be blended. I mean, if this were a tea, it could be blended teas, but lots of things could be blended, so I'm not sure. Anti-trafficking organization. ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Peachy. Big name in family singers. I don't know these. Okay. Critique of judgment writer. Is it Kant? Is it Immanuel Kant? I'm going to try that and see. Peachy. Oh, oh, A-OK. -okay. Right, okay, I was trying to think of a single word, but this is, you know, sort of an initialism. Or I don't know, what would you call that when it's something you say like that? A contraction, I guess. I don't know what it, I don't really know. It's not any of these things. It doesn't stand for anything. The A doesn't have a meaning. What is it? It's just a phrase, I guess. I don't know. All right, anti-trafficking organization, ATF, is, is now I'm confident that's correct. So who are the, oh, Oh, Trap is in Von, Von Trap Singers? Is that from The Sound of Music? Am I confusing two things? Pretty sure this is right. So then what about this? Are you sure about that? Or is it right? Okay, you could say you've made a claim. Or, or is it? Is that the case? Are you sure about that? Okay. So squishy desktop item. Oh, stress ball. Right. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Um, okay. So here we have acting role, right? So acting role is probably a part of oh, part and parcel. Is parcel being spelled out? AC? Yes, acre. So an acre of land could be referred to as a parcel of land. So you could say this is part and parcel of this, you know, the this baking process. It just kind of goes along with it. Okay, I think this probably is atta. That is the kind of thing that isn't really part of my active vocabulary, but it sounded familiar. So let's look at the cross and see if just to make sure that is actually correct. They might be blended, right? Okay, I thought it might be teased. Let's try it and see. Otoscope user for short. Oh, an ENT. There we go. Is that that's one of those with a does it have a little camera on the end maybe? Is it a light or a camera? Probably can maybe both. Not sure. But yeah, then they'd what put it in your ear? Okay, anyway, drink additive, aid. So lemonade, limeade, sort of an additive in the sense that it, you, know, you add it to a word and then it creates the name of a drink. Place with scrubs could be a spa. Oh, right, okay, so a kind of you know, exfoli exfoliating scrub or something like that. Okay, suckling site. Oh, it's a teat as in an animal, so you know, a pig or, or something like that um, could have children sort of suckling. All right, envelope abbreviation. Uh, not sure. Oh, no, I, yeah, it would be attention. So you might write on the, you might address an envelope with attention and then someone's name. So maybe if you're sending it to a workplace, you want to make sure it's given to the right person. Okay, heartfelt request would be a plea, something for which you're, you're begging. And then 36 to 1 for snake eyes. So snake eyes being uh, a roll on two dice, a roll of two split across two ones 
on two dice. And, I, and the odds of that would be 36 to 1. That's the likelihood it would occur. Rodent in an arid environment. A desert rat? Seems plausible. I've heard people refer to desert rats before. Mark of Zorro could be a slash, maybe. So Zorro, famously, he slashes his initial into, I don't know, fabrics and things. Quickly, ASAP, as soon as possible. Kung Pao is in... Kung Pao chicken, maybe? Saint of Avila. Uh, Teresa, is that Mother Teresa? Is she Saint Teresa of Avila, maybe? It sounds plausible. Let's. Try. Oh, sorry, I just realized I didn't ever look at this. Plato's P, Rho. Okay, there we go. So, Greek alphabet. 30 for 30 error. Right, okay, I've never actually seen any of these, but I do know they're very well regarded, the documentaries, sports documentaries produced by ESPN, the US Sports Network. And then a reward for a dog could be a pet, uh, which they do enjoy. Uh, if one tosses in something, one, or maybe it's a pet rather than a pet, because tosses in could be ads. You toss something into the pile, you add it to the pile. And then quickly, oh right, I think we had ASAP. Yes, we did. We had to include exactly the same way. So quickly, ASAP, and here quickly, stat. Another way to say, do that as quickly as possible. Actress Thurman, Uma Thurman, there we go. And a bit of fishing gear could be, what? Rod, bait, uh, real rod, <laughs> bit of fishing gear, tackle. What is, what is it? I don't know. Maggie Smith's title. Okay, well, she's Dame Maggie Smith. There we go. And then a bit of fishing gear is a set, a fishing set. I don't know what this is. Top round steak. All right. So uh, well, the and goes here and then T-R-O-T, -T, trot. Oh, is that a run? So what? Oh, net. Oh, right. Okay. A fishing net, of course. That was pretty obvious. Just didn't, didn't get it. Okay. So top round steak. What is that? It's a cut. It's a cut of meat. Okay, I see. So cut and run is to sort of, you know, give up and flee. All right. Balance provider in brief could be an ATM, an automated teller machine, a cash point. Could give you your bank balance before you withdraw some money. And then bump on a log is a knot, maybe a knot of wood. Is that? Maybe, maybe. Not 100% sure that's what we're looking for here. Deducts from... Oh, docs is in docs one's pay, deducts from one's pay. Yes, okay. I think that's probably right. So, you know, taking away some salary for, as a punitive measure or something. So this probably is a not then if that's a K. And then to go from zero to 60, say, would be to speed up, to accelerate, to, to what? It might not mean zero to 60 miles per hour in a car. It might not mean that. I'm not sure. Academic acronym. Oh, probably STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, I think is what that stands for. So if you're on point, so as a ballet dancer say, maybe you're on toe, you know, standing up on, on your toe. Um, toes, I guess. Uh, go from zero to 60, say. Oh, count, all right. You simply count from the number zero to the number 60 is the most straightforward possible interpretation of that. Okay, there we go. And the say, I think, is is letting us, is, is I think, cluing us in that it isn't necessarily referring to speeding in a vehicle from a you know, standing start to 60 miles or kilometers per hour. It's saying, oh, you know, this is an example of counting, say. Counting doesn't literally mean to go from zero to 60, but it's an example of that thing. Okay, palindromic time could be noon. So it's a palindrome because the word reads the same in either direction. And then days, oh, days in is a brand of hotel or motel or something. Um, certainly seen them. So I think that'll be the answer. This will be pros and cons. Sacramento Kings. So Sacramento Kings, I mean, I guess that's in the sense of being a professional sports team. Are they basketball, maybe? Um, I think that might be the case. And then 
S-C-A-M-S, scams. So scams would be cons. You could con somebody, scam them. All right. Uh, actress Reed of Sharknado. Right, okay, I've not seen Sharknado, but it must be must be Tara Reed. And then title of respect would be Shri. There we go. All right. Use, uses or uses. I'm not sure which this is. And home of Morocco's royal palace. Uh, could be Rabat. I'm not actually sure off the top of my head. I'm just trying to think of what would be plausible. Meat in some chops. Lay out lamb chops. Okay. Longtime watch brand for James Bond. It must be Omega. Which sounds right. And also, I mean, starting with an O-M in five letters, it seems like it must be. Skyscraper support, some sort of beam. Sometimes you get... I remember this used to happen, I think, much more often in the crossword. This specific kind of clue where the answer could be I-beam or H-beam. And there isn't really any way to know. You just have to get it through the crosses. Uh, it's the beam bit specifically that used to happen more frequently and does still occasionally. Anyway, it looks like H probably isn't plausible here. So I think it's I. Ah, right. Plies. If you you know ply your trade, you sort of use your trade, you put it to use. Um, if you ply something, you kind of use it. I think that's probably right. This looks like eagle. Yes. Bird depicted on a rare penny. I mean, I don't actually know what this is referring to specifically, an eagle penny of some sort, but uh, but it's a bird, so obviously the answer is eagle. Okay, I think this is robot. And then by time. Oh, no, right, okay. I For some reason, I read this as by time, as in a sale or something, a time to buy things. No, it's a verb. It means to buy time, to stall, to stall for time, to waste time. And Brooks, for one, ah, uh, right, the great Mel Brooks, the director, actor, comedian, and... There we go. That was the Thursday crossword. And um, a nice, a uh, very nice little bit of uh, spelling related, sort of slightly linguistic theming here with our and phrases. I mean, it's nice that th these are all completely ordinary common phrases uh, connected by and. So they, they very tightly fit a particular uh, pattern. And we have mom and pop spelled out within Carol, Brady, and Cola. Rack and Ruin clued by Moose Antlers and Mar. I said mom and pop spelled out by, that's not correct. It's clued by Carol, Brady, and Cola. Uh, we have part and parcel clued by Acting Roll and Acre. Pros and cons clued by Sacramento Kings and scams, and finally, cut and run, clued by top round stake and trot. There we go. And no revealer today. We simply infer how this theme works through um, context and repetition, I suppose. And and there we have it. Um, figuring these clues out is just part and parcel of solving a Thursday crossword, which does tend to have uh, this sort of slightly more involved theme, which you do, you do need to solve in order to complete the puzzle. I mean, other, I guess you could figure these out entirely through crosses, um, but to properly solve it, you do need to figure out what's going on with the theme, uh, which we fortunately did. And there we go. We didn't cut and run. So that was the Thursday crossword. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't have time for the clues from yesterday's puzzle today, but I'll try and get back to that uh, tomorrow if possible. And thank you so much for joining me and making it to the end of this video. Let me know how you found this crossword in the uh, Discord chat server or the comments. Always curious. And I'll be back tomorrow with the Friday themeless puzzle, the first of two themeless puzzles for the week. So do join me on Friday for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Mm -hmm.